Hey, welcome to Acton's Diet in the Kitchen. My name is Kent Altena, and this week we're going to be making another snack recipe, but I just wanted to highlight before I start making anything, make sure you stay tuned for next week Monday. There'll be a very big announcement being released at that point, so make sure you come back on Monday and you'll see another very important video. All right, so today we're going to be making a cracker recipe that I found on the Low Carb Friends website that they, it was called Pooty's Crackers. And I'm going to slightly change that to be a low-carb chicken and biscuit cracker, which was one of my favorites. So come along with me as we cook it up low-carb style. All right, first things first, we're going to add a half a cup of almond meal. To this, we're going to add a fourth a cup of coconut flour that I ground myself. And finally, a heaping tablespoon of ground chia seeds. Now you might be wondering why I'm adding the chia seeds to this recipe and I'm not just using the two flours. It's because the chia seeds will help hold in the moisture into the uh, crackers and give them a little bit better texture. To this we're going to add 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. One fourth teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. And finally, one half teaspoon of ground chicken bouillon. And one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Break up any chunks that you might see. All right, setting that aside, we're gonna crack one egg. Give it a good beat. To this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of coconut oil. Alright, I'm going to mix these two together. Pour the egg coconut oil mixture into the dry ingredients. And just mix the two together. It should just begin to start sticking together and forming little dough balls. And finally, we're going to add uh, one tablespoon of water. Or just enough water so that the mixture holds together in a single ball. You don't want to add too much water because your crackers are intended to be crispy at the end. And the more water you add means the more water you have to then bake out of them later on. Alright, so now we have our, our dough ball and I'll start rolling this out on the stove. So we'll catch back up at that point. Alright, here's the ball of dough that we were talking about. We're going to lay this out on our parchment lined sheet pan and then we're going to take a square of plastic wrap to lay over top. All 
I have my oven preheating at 325 degrees. How flat you roll these crackers out to be will affect how crispy you get them. If you leave them a little thicker, you'll have a thicker, more flatbread like cracker. If you leave it thin, they'll get crispier on you. Alright, before we put them in the oven, I'm going to just run a butter knife through them. If they happen to fall apart, you can always just press them back in. If you want to get really fancy, you can use a fork and We're going to put this into my 325 degree oven for roughly 20 to 25 minutes. You can check them at that point. If they aren't the level of crispness that you desire, add another 5 to 10 minutes on top and recheck at that point. I want to make sure you guys remember to check back on Monday when, you'll have, when that big announcement will be. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this reaches everyone great health and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.